Hi everybody, in this video we'll be making an air hockey game. So I know it's been a long time since I've made my uh, game. So I decided to take the initiative and this week I'm planning to uh, make a video because so because I just feel like doing it. And this is the game that we'll be making and it's called an air hockey game. So it's like the kind of the same thing that one you find in the arcade. Just that's a little bit different, and yeah, yeah, as you see, I'm just getting crushed by a computer. So, so this is the kind of game we'll be making. It's kind of like a pong game, but it's really not, and you should really see the difference. And the difference is that there's holes and not a boundary line. So this is the game. So let's not waste too much time and let's make this game. This is all the code that we'll be, we'll be needing. And yeah, it's a very basic and very simple game. The ball has a lot, but it's not too bad. Yeah. So let's get right into it. So this is our project. Air hockey. So um, so a lot of the things that we'll be doing is all making. So I'm gonna start with the take this out. So we'll be needing two paddles. I'm gonna set it all up since this one there. There's another one there. Okay. So there's one here. And there's another one there. So now I'm just gonna start with the start with the center line. So um, you can choose what color you want. So this is my uh, first center line. There. Just center line. There. That's the best I can do. So that's our center black line. Center. Center. So this is a little bit different from the one you see in the arcade, but in the scratch, so this is. This is technically my style of making it on scratch, so the reason why I'm putting the lines is it's like a boundary because in air hockey you can go to the other side, so which is why I'm doing it, and it's more free. Center. Black line. So this is the center black line, and I'm going to choose another color. So I'm just going to choose... This one, this color right here, and I'm gonna make this going all the way down here. Okay, that should do too. Okay, so now I just have to adjust, seeing if it's a center or not. Is this the center? Let's see. You can just lift it around there, and then. It might not be perfect, but it should be fine. Okay, I think it should be fine. It should be fine. This is the best I can do. So now, next, I'm gonna get a purple hole. And just oh, I don't like that outline. Purple hole. Now I just have to make this slightly bigger. No, that, that's too big. So technically, this uh, it takes about five to ten minutes to make all this. So, but I'm not gonna take five to ten minutes because I don't feel like doing that. If you wanna make this like super perfect, it takes some time. But um, I don't wanna make this super perfect. It's mainly because uh, the video gets longer. If I wanna make it like really perfect. So that's a pretty good hole. Let's see now. Purple hole. Right. This is my hole. So let me just put this here. I'm just gonna put this here. I need this one. I think I need to change up a little. A bit too small. 80 should be good. And next, what I'm gonna do to make this video faster, I'm just gonna duplicate this. What I'm gonna do, and then. And then what I'm gonna do is 
I'll name those after I'm done. So now I'm just have to wanna change the color of this fill and uh, just make, yeah, I'm gonna make this red. So now let's name these sprites. Center black line, center red line. Now we have all our spreads for now, so now let's just start with the code. So let's start out with the first one. This is our first code, and yes, we're gonna do the variables as well. Let's get our three variables. Am I spelling it right? I just got penalties even. I think that's how you spell yeah, that's how you spell it. So the penalties is gonna go back here. I'm gonna put it right there. Yeah. The next variable is my score. Which is gonna be right on here. I'm gonna put it right here. And my um, yeah, the and my um, computer score. So I have all the variables that I need. So yeah, I think for now this is what we're gonna work with. This is the first code, piece of code. So one click, go to, so this will be going here. So let me just see. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure, make sure you're using the right sprite when you're doing the code, so you don't get messed up. Forever. Go to my center. Mouse. Center. There. Now, let me just... So this is what you get when you do that. You have the ability to go anywhere. So now we need to um, tighten up the rules a little and not do that because that's not how you really play the game. So now we're gonna do one click forever. Okay, okay, chill. If, okay, can this not stop? If touching, So now let's choose a variable. Um, Wherever is in front of me. What is that in front of me? Okay, the black line. Black, center, black line. Then change penalties by one. Right. That's a very basic change. Okay. Change. Now, when we did that, We're just getting penalties. Hi, everybody. We're getting a bunch of penalties. So now we just shut that. So this part should be done. Yep, it's done. Now, let's go to the computer and see what we have to do. So for the computer part, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I think I... Is it the red hole? How much did I put for the... Here, 65. Oh, I think, oh my god, don't even, I just, whatever. There you go. This is one piece of code. 
This is the problem when you draw your sprites. The thing is that when you draw your sprites, it's much, much harder because, um, yeah, because, um, because of the size you make it. The thing is that I'm not really good at making perfect shapes, so which gets really hard. So, yeah. So we're gonna turn these all into 0 0.5. Wait a sec. Nope, I think I did the wrong thing. It's this one. If you think I'm going too fast, please um, pause the video while doing this because this might be kind of fast. Because, you know. So this x coordinate is going to be 7, and the y coordinate is going to be 118. So this one is going to be 166. 114. Pretty decent. Okay, so this is all we have. So now we just have to loop around forever so it doesn't stop at a random moment. I hope it's okay, so I think I think it should be good. If you think it's like uh, maybe too close or too far from it, you just have to adjust the coordinates. But I, for me I think it should be fine for now. So now the, I forgot a sprite. While I was doing the code, I actually forgot a sprite. And which is the most important thing in the thing. A ball. I don't know how I forgot that, but let's just, you know, don't know how. It's a hundred, so ball has a lot to it. So this, oh darn, I thought I had. <laughs> but all this. And yes, we still need two more variables. So yeah, let's get those two more variables. This is going to be a quite, maybe a little bit longer video because of the variables and the code I'm using. But. There. That's. We're just going to stop. We don't need to show all this, but. We're going to start with this. We're going to go step by step. So this is the ball. Point and direction. Point and direction. Pick random. Pick random. Boom. I think it's one to three. Yeah, one to three hundred sixty degrees. Yep. Forever. When I get a forever loop. Move ten steps. Get an if statement. I think it's if else, right? Just if. Okay, just if. If touching. 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 Where is the touching? Oh, touching is here. Touching. Computer paddle. Oh yeah, I didn't name the computer pile, but whatever you named it, just put it there. Move minus 10 steps. Minus 10 steps. Set angle. Set angle. Wait, set angle. Set this thing. Set angle to direction. There's a direction even. Get the 
Yeah. Oh, it's a dark blue. I think it's some. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, right there, direction. So you just, I just had to find it. Okay, so I actually see the ball is already flying. Point towards computer paddle. By the way, uh, paddle two. Set. Set. Incident two. That's a minus ring. Okay. Good. And that's a minus. Direction. Let's go all the way to. The main challenge is that you have to remember this. I have to. I can't know it. Put that there. Direction minus angle. You know what? I want to save this just in case. Turn left side. Again, minus. Minus is out there. One hundred two minus. This first part is done. Finally, it's done. So what I'm gonna do is that this, the same thing is gonna happen for the next one. Just to, you know what I'm gonna do? Since it's gonna be the same code, I'm just gonna duplicate this. So so now I have one more copy of this. So what we're gonna do with this next duplicated copy is that we're gonna change this point and direction to paddle, and um, this one also we're gonna change to paddle and uh, paddle paddle. I think. Now it should work. I just changed to everything into paddle one and paddle two. That's they both have their separate thing. So now I think there is another piece of it. So I always said that's it. Let's check. Okay, we have that small part that we generally do. If if else, touching, you know what, I'm just going to get this thing. Now we're going to go to events again. Bam. Bam. Touching. Touching. If I touch the red hole, then who gets the point? I get the point. Change. And change. And change. My score by one. Then in case. Oh, it's color. I think I should use color. Never mind. No, I'm not going to use color. Computer score. That should, yeah. That's how it's supposed to work. And then we have to get a forever loop. There. Nope. Next. Okay, we have to do this part. Just have to, let's just scroll down here, I guess. Just scroll. No, oh, let's, let's, no, okay, you know what, we're gonna get three of these things, let's be honest, yeah, put that there, and one here. So now we have computer score, my score, and penalties. So now, it sets to zero, I already got a penalty because that doesn't count. 
So now we're playing. This is technically, so yeah, this is literally the game, but I want to put in some like extra things as well, like, you know, the fur lose and um, you lose, those kind of things. Those basic, basic things I want to add. Like, you lose, you lost. Maybe you lost this there. And we're gonna add another one saying you win. You guys can do all fancy things, but I don't wanna make the video long, like I said. So I'm not gonna be like changing colors, fonts, or anything like that. But you can do that on your own. make it wall so now next part this is this is a part that is completely optional so this all you have to do is this yeah so, when click hide to hide yes there is a hide and uh, wait until penalties And for now, you guys can change this mm -hmm. one. Alright, now, now, this sign for you win, this is my you win thing. That's 20. 20 is good, I think. This is you win, right? So it's my score. So next, we have to do the next one. And that is the computer's win. Computer win. Let's see how the game works. So we finished it. I've, I hope you've been following along and pausing the video. So this is the game. Mm -hmm. After I get the five points, I think. I... Yes. And also another thing that we should have added is um, mm -hmm. to um, stop the game. So if you want to like stop the game when it's done, after it says you win, you can just do stop all. And uh, stop all. Stop all. There. Now all the things are done. And this is technically the game, how it works and everything. So now the final part is the backdrops. So I generally keep the backdrops at the end because that's technically the least important. Um, if you guys find some like good backdrop, just give it in the in the comments. Write it down in the comments because I am so bad at looking for good backdrops. Maybe let's see, pretend this game is happening underwater. Yeah, I like that. We're gonna make this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I if you enjoyed this, give a like and a subscribe to the channel.